In DHIS2, the concept of sharing allows you to take specific metadata objects in the system and determine the type of access users have to these objects. We apply sharing to user groups or users that exist within our DHIS2 system. To be effective, we combine the concept of sharing with user authorities and user roles. These concepts allow us to take our DHIS2 system and segment access by the different services that are available, along with the functionality each user should have when interacting with that specific service. When reviewing this interaction, we can take a modular approach. Within DHIS2, we have various apps that a user can access, as well as tasks that they can perform within those apps. This includes, for example, the Maps app, Capture app, and Maintenance app. The users you currently have in the Events Customization database have access to all of these apps. Within these apps, we have metadata objects that we either created ourselves or someone else created for us to use. As an example, you have access to the ICD-10 event program that we have configured for you to review. This has associated data elements that we have also made available and you may have even used them and added them to your own event program. There may also be outputs associated with this program that you could also view. The first layer restriction, User Roles, controls access to various apps within DHIS2 as well as specific administrative functions within DHIS2. Sharing is the second level restriction of this interaction. It is more precise and restricts a user or user group's access to specific objects in the system. Without sharing well-defined, we could have access to a particular app, but not actually be able to access any specific parts of our configuration. For example, data elements or event program entry forms within that app that we need to perform our work. When thinking of event programs, this allows us to decide which users or user groups will have access to our event program for both data entry as well as data analysis. DHIS2 sharing actually has two different generic levels. This includes metadata sharing and data sharing. Metadata sharing determines if a user or user group can view or edit a piece of metadata in the system. Data sharing determines if a user or user group can view or edit data associated with a particular object, both in data entry and analysis applications. Both metadata and data sharing then have individual component settings which alter the effect they have on the object being configured. For metadata sharing, there are three components. No access. This means that a group or user simply cannot see the object. This is useful when modifying public access to an object. Can edit and view access. This allows a user or user group to both view and edit a metadata object as the name implies. They can only edit the object if they have a user role allowing them to access the right apps in maintenance as well as to update the set of objects in question. For example, to edit a data element, they would need to have the data element shared with them using the can edit and view setting and the user role would have to allow them access to the maintenance app, as well as the authority to update data elements. The last component is can view only. This allows a user or user group to view a metadata object within various DHIS2 apps. The apps in which they have access to are controlled by their user roles. For data sharing, there are also three components. The first component is no access. This means that a user or user group will not be granted access to the program or data set at all. The second component is can capture and view. This allows a user or user group access to both enter data 
and view data associated with a program or data set. They can only enter data if they have a user role, which allows them to do so. The last component is can view only. This allows a user to only view data associated with the program. They will not, however, be able to enter data associated with that particular program. Using the model we have presented, we can describe what we are going to do with the program that we have created. We will modify the sharing settings to the following. The first thing we will do is remove public access. This means both metadata and data will be set to no access at the public level. What this means is that others who are logging in to the system and performing their exercises will not be able to review and modify your program. We are then going to add our own user and apply the following settings. Metadata can edit and view, and data can capture and view. This will allow our user to perform any necessary function from editing the metadata to adding new events in Capture with the program that we have made. Keeping these concepts in mind, we will go back to maintenance to configure this in DHIS2.